Fear is all about having control. And when you're not in control of it, that's when you're afraid. Some people think that the blind live a life of fear, but for Laurie Rubin, this is not the case. Laurie Rubin was born with Libra's congenital amaurosis, a genetic disorder that affects the retina and causes loss of vision. People might think, oh, I'd be so terrified to take a step without being able to see, but I've never had time to think about it. It's just been my life. So it, I just kind of had this revelation that the, the fears that we do have come from, stem from that, stem from any time that we've had time to think about the unknown. Her inability to see hasn't stopped her from living an active life. Her schedule includes speaking at conferences, doing performances and singing, and being a vocal teacher. The only activity that I couldn't do, that my, my family said that I couldn't do, was ping pong. And I remember I was so mad at them. I was like, you can't tell me I can't do that. Because they had given me the self-esteem that I could do anything. So when they told me I couldn't do something, I just, I wasn't having it, you know. As a result of this self-esteem, she was able to accomplish many things. One of them being writing a memoir. So my book is called uh, Do You Dream in Color? Insights from a Girl Without Sight. And um, it's, it's really about my, it, it takes readers on a journey through my life because I realize one of the things that people want to know is they want to know how I do everyday stuff. Her book highlights her life experiences and what she went through to get to where she is now. Each chapter of her book talks about the different parts of her life and uses a different color for them. Despite her inability to see, she has interests that might surprise some people. I love making jewelry. I, I really enjoy playing around with makeup. Um, I love clothes because, you know, you can feel textures. And so, and I've always told people, I don't necessarily think that blindness is associated with vision, per se. Like, I think if you have a visual, creative mind, uh, it will manifest itself no matter whether you're blind or sighted. Laurie Rubin has taken these words to heart. As a mezzo-soprano opera singer, her list of accomplishments include working with singer-songwriter Kenny Loggins and performing at the White House. She also co-created Peace on Your Wings, a musical based on the life of Sadako Sasaki, a girl who died from leukemia as a result of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. It's really amazing to see something that when you're in your pajamas at 3 in the morning just writing something down on a computer, how that can come to life on stage. And, and then more emotionally, seeing everybody get involved, the students, the parents, the, the audience, um, other people who have investment in the story. And, and what I realized in that moment was that the reason I love this project so much more than anything else that we had done was because it was something that became a team effort. Because Laurie Rubin conquered her own fear, she inspires others to be more fearless. This is Teo Fukamizu from Hongwanji Mission School for Hikino.